my name is Miss Jenny and I'm so happy to be back with you again this week. I hope you all had an awesome Easter. If you remember two weeks ago, we were talking about humility. Humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Having humility or being humble is kind of an upside down way of living. It's so natural for us to Think of ourselves first. So it can take a lot of work to remember to put others before us. But when Jesus came, he flipped all of that upside down and he showed us exactly what it looks like to have humility and live being humble. It's definitely not easy for us to do, but it does help knowing how Jesus did it. Of all the wonderful things he could have. Hey, why did you get me a present, which is something I'm sure I'm gonna like? Because you keep doing things to deserve it. That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Oh yeah? Well, there's more where that came from. You're funny. Oh, thank you. You're nice. I appreciate and that. And you are a good person. So are you! I know you really mean that. You're always here by my side, and I never get sick of you. I'm so glad to hear it. Read my lips, you're the nicest friend a guy could have. You know what, you know what, just open that. Open it, I wanna see the look on your okay, face. Okay, I will. Open it. Oh, you got me a new game system before you bought yourself one. That's so touching. I'm so glad you like it. You wanna play it? I would love to. Oh. This is awesome. I know! Hello, all you beautiful people out there. I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and you're watching The, the So and So Show. I don't know if you folks out there know this, but John and I each take turns deciding what we want to do on the show each week. Yeah, yeah. Every other week, I plan stuff, and every other every other week. Brandon plans stuff. Right, and this week is my, my week. week. What? Do, 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 do. What? And today I have planned a show that's all about diving deep into a soul. Oh, that's great. But, a show about discovering life-changing truths. Yeah, again, but, but first, let's play a meaningless game. What? Meaningless game. Yes. John, you can't do a meaningless game because this week Oh, okay, is actually fine, fine. Then it's time for a meaningful game. Okay, let's play your game. I'm sure it'll be great. Why, thank you, friend. You know what, I'll say the same thing when it's your turn to play a game next week. Actually, now that you mention Let's go play! All right, what's this meaningful game? It's a game called Flip It! Flip It! <laughs> How many times are we gonna do that? How many times? As many as John wants! As many as I want! I'm sorry I asked. No problem! Let's play. Okay, great. Underneath each of these claws is an item that has been flipped up a side of down. Mm. All you have to do is identify what it is. Oh, am I the only one playing? Yep. Why? Because it's my day to make the show and what I says uh, is. Oh, 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 don't want you cheating either, so blindfold okay. on. Boom. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna close no, my You're eyes. not gonna cheat? Okay. Okay, here is your first item. What is that? <laughs> it's like an octopus tentacle. No oh, wait, no, I know what it is. Is it a bath mat? Uh, yes, yeah. very good, great job. On okay. to our next one. On to our next one. All I right, really don't want to do this. No, 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 it's my day. I know. Play. It's it's fine. Fine. Okay, I'm, I'm doing blah, 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 blah. it. Here we go. Right there. Gross. Is this gonna make me sick, touching it? Mm. What are you doing? I don't know what it is. It's like a, like an elephant eye or oh, something? Oh no, that'd be gross. Yeah. But that would be really cool though. Oh, is it like a mushroom? Oh yes, absolutely, you got it. Good job, all right. has been cut off. Okay, one more, one, one more, more, one okay, more. Okay. All right, I'm gonna bring it over here. All right, all right. Do are we, you ready do for we this? we have to keep doing yeah, this? No, 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 no,
Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay. <laughs> it's yuck. It's a wet sponge. <laughs> it's not? It like, no. Oh, gross. What was that? Something. Can I? Sure, sure. If you want. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Is that pineapple upside down cake? Oh, wrong! It's an upside down pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> Get it? Or maybe we should call it maybe we should call it a pineapple right side up cake. <laughs> Game over. Hey, uh, I'm getting the feeling that you're a little grumpy. No, I'm not. I just don't understand how that game was supposed to be meaningful. Okay, well, I wouldn't be this grumpy if it were your week to plan stuff. So. Yeah, about that. It's not action. Oh, hey, hey, I almost forgot. It's Bible story time with Kellen. What's up, my friends? How's it going? Couldn't be better, Kellen. Although, just between the two of us, Brandon is a little grumpy. It's not between the two of you if I can hear you. See what I mean? I can still hear you. I'm sorry, did you say something? Hey, Kellen, what you got for us today? An app. Oh, like for our phones? Yup, and it's called Humble Pie. That never gets old. No? Hmm. This app is gonna help me tell today's Bible story, along with you guys. You want us to download the app? If you would. Hmm. Oh, done. Okay. Yeah, but you, almost, you good? Almost got it. Just got a loading. Got it. Okay. Open them up and watch what happens. Okay. Wow! This is really cool, Kellen. Hey, I can see Brandon. Hey, Brandon. It's like you're sitting next to me. <laughs> How do we play, Kellen? Actually, before we play, check this out. Excuse me, gents. The Apostle Paul wrote a bunch of letters in what we call the book of Philippians. Paul wrote this. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. As you deal with one another, you should think and act as Jesus did. And how did Jesus act? Let's continue. Babu! In his very nature, he was God. But Jesus didn't take advantage of that fact. Instead, he made himself nothing. He did this by taking on the nature of a servant. He was humble and obeyed God completely. He did this even though it led to his death. Even worse, he died on the cross. Are you still there, fellas? Yep. You betcha. Why do I look like a bunny rabbit? You have a filter on. I have a what? You have a filter, filter on here, right here. Huh. All right. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Continue, Kellen. Great. Here's how you play. For each scenario I give you, you have to decide if you're going to put yourself first or if you're going to be humble. Simple, right? Sure, but I, I don't think either of us will pick what's selfish. <laughs> hmm. Good point. Maybe one of you should volunteer as the non-humble player. Sure, I'll help you out, Kellen. Oh. Perfect. All right, here we go. First scenario. You're running late for work. On your way, you see a lady drop her groceries. Do you stop to help her? Yes. I'll say no. Humble pie! Hmm? <laughs> what happened? Where did that pie come from? Uh. <sighs> I forgot to mention in this app, it involves virtual reality. Virtual? Look at my face! Is, wait, is this a filter? No! Second scenario. You had plans to see the new superhero movie, but a friend needs your help instead. Do you help him? Yes. How about you? No. Humble pie! <laughs> Come on! Hey, you gotta eat the humble pie when you don't put others first, Brando. True. Although, I must say, he's being pretty humble already. How's that? 
Well, he's letting himself get hit in the face with a pie when you know it's his week. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, this is his week to plan the show, right? No. Wait, no? Are you sure? Is that true? Yeah. Uh, why didn't you say something to me? If you would have said something, I would have listened. Well, I tried, but every time- Are we gonna finish this game or what? Um, I mean, well. Third scenario. Okay. Go ahead. You wanna watch soccer on TV, but your little sister really wants to watch cartoons. Do you let her watch? Yes. Say no. Say no. Fine. No. Humble pie! <laughs> that was awesome. Mm. Yeah. Thanks, John. Yeah. That's not bad. Well, I'm not sure who won the game, but I think the point's the same. Jesus put people first. He gave his life for us. We should do our best to think and act like Jesus did. Even if that means every once in a while giving up what we want or what we think we deserve. And even if it means taking the occasional pie to the face. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, thanks, man. Anytime. I'll see you guys around. Bye, man. You know, these towels never fail. I know. And they don't stain. <laughs> so. So. Dude, I can't believe you just gave up a show that was rightfully yours and just let me ramble on like that. Yeah. You would never use so many graphics. Never. Never. Well, maybe just one more. What? Reveal the question! What keeps you from putting others first? Well, you could be easily distracted. Like, has that mannequin always been over there? Talk about it with each other. What keeps you from putting others first? Oh, I mean, I, I, I feel so bad. Don't beat yourself up. Hey, maybe you can make it up to me by letting me plan the next two shows in a row. Deal! <laughs> Thank you. Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I think that mannequin is getting closer. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. All right, guys, here are your small group questions for the week. How do you know that Jesus put you first? Why does Jesus putting us first mean that we need to put others first? And what keeps you from putting others first? What can you do to put others first more often? Take those questions and read them with your family. Keep the conversation going after this. All right, let's pray. Father God, I thank you for every person watching this video, Lord. I thank you that they are strong and they are brave and that they follow you all the days of their lives. Lord, help us to be humble. Help us to remember what it means to have humility and live like Jesus lived. I thank you for the example you sent for us so that we have something to look to when things are hard. Lord, I ask that every child watching this video right now has an amazing week, and I thank you for all that you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, have a great week, and I'll see you next week.